Class English Express and I'm Sudha Oberoi. Today I'm going to teach the students of Class 10, Chapter 5, The 100 Dresses Part 1 from their English book, First Flight. This chapter is written by L. Saul Esther. This story is a sensitive account of how a poor young girl, Wanda, is judged by her classmates, Peggy and Maddie. The story deals with evil of racism. Wanda doesn't get irritated at all and has immense patience. Neither she makes any complaint. So let us understand the story with the help of important points. I am also going to explain you textual questions, MCQs, short and long answers. So children, if you enjoy this video, like, share and subscribe it. Do post your comments in the comments box below and watch the video till the end to understand the chapter nicely. Here are important points of the story. First, the characters. We have Wanda, who is a polished girl. She belongs to a poor family. Peggy is there, who is very rich, beautiful and talented. And Maddy is also there. Peggy and Maddy, Maddy both are friends. And Wanda is a polished girl. So, Wanda Petronsky. She is Polish immigrant. And she lives in America at Bogan Heights. She has taken admission in American school. Now she is different in many ways from others. Now how she is different? She is quiet by nature. She has got an uncommon name. She has no friends. And she wears the same dress to school every day. Usually she sits next to the last seat in the last row where the rough boys sit and these rough boys are dull in studies they are not good at studies and they are always making noise in the class peggy and maddie are very close friends they are always together peggy is rich she is very beautiful also and talented she has got many pretty dresses and she wears different dresses to school every day. And she makes fun of Wanda about her dresses. Because Wanda wears the same dress every day to school. So she often asks her about her dresses. Wanda doesn't get irritated. And she replies that she had hundreds of colorful dresses in velvet and silk. With beautiful designs all lined up in her cupboard. She said she had 60 pairs of shoes also. Maddie is also poor but not as poor like Wanda. She doesn't like Peggy making fun of Wanda and often wants to tell her not to make fun but she doesn't have the courage to stop her from making fun. So she is timid kind and there is a reason behind it. Because she fears that if she will stop her, she would become the next target and children are going to make fun of her because she is also poor. Now Peggy who makes fun of Wanda is otherwise not insensitive. She protects small children from rough boys. She cries when animals are ill-treated. But she doesn't have any realization that she is teasing Wanda because this is a game for her and she thinks that she is just asking a question from her and in her self-defense she calls Wanda a liar because she says that she has got 100 dresses but she comes to school in one same dress every day. As I told you, Maddie doesn't have the courage to stop Peggy from making fun of Wanda Sometimes she wishes she would write a note in which she would express her desire to Peggy that she should not make fun of Wanda. But that too she doesn't write because she doesn't want to displease Peggy because she wears her hand down dresses and she feels that after that she might stop talking to her and then she would also become lonely. Now there is a drawing competition announced by the teacher. Now girls have to make sketches of dresses they have to design dresses and boys have to design motor boats now 
everybody is anxious to know about the results and they are sure that peggy would win because she is pretty also she is talented also and she is good at things also but next day miss mason comes there in the class and she declares that girls had submitted two sketches but there was a girl in the class who had submitted 100 sketches and she declares the name of the girl wanda and declares her the winner of the competition the whole class is surprised because they expected that peggy would win the girls competition in boys category jack beggles won the competition children clapped for wanda wanda was not present there in the class but she got the appreciation and applause of the children as well as the teacher peggy appreciated her green dress and medi her blue dress so children we should not judge the people around us by their money wealth and possession their qualities and their characters should matter us more than anything else so we must judge them by their nature their soft attitude their politeness and their etiquettes also here are actual questions and i am going to give you value points i have not mentioned question number 1 to 4 but i am going to discuss them with you your first question is where in the classroom does wanda sit and why so wanda sits in the next to the last seat in the last row in room number 13 now she sits there because she thinks that nobody should pay attention much attention towards her and she wants to be on her own there next question is where does wanda live what kind of a place do you think it is wanda lives in bogen heights and this is a locality for poor people next when and why do peggy and medi notice wanda's absence they notice her absence on monday it was not noticed by anybody else but they noticed it next is what do you think to have fun with her means to have fun with her means to make mockery or to laugh at her now let's see question number 5 in what ways was wanda different from others she was different in many ways she was shy by nature she had no friends she was poor and she had uncommon name question number 6 did wanda have 100 dresses why do you think she said she did no wanda did not have 100 dresses but she said so in order to silence her classmates next why was medi embarrassed by the questions peggy asks wanda is she also like wanda or different medi too is poor she wears hand down dresses she is different from wanda because she doesn't live in bogen heights and she has got lots of friends question number 8 why didn't medi ask peggy to stop teasing wanda what was she afraid of now medi to is poor and she fears if she would stop her from teasing she would become the next target and she would lose friendship of peggy next question number 9 who did medi think would win the contest why she thought peggy would win the contest because she was talented and better than others question number 10 who won the drawing contest what had the winner drawn wanda won the drawing contest as she had drawn 100 dresses in different beautiful designs question 11 how is wanda seen as different by other girls how do they treat her wanda is poor and vulnerable because she comes from bogens height she is shy by nature she has got a strange name and she wears the same dress to school every day question number 12 how does wanda feel about the dress game why does she say she has 100 dresses now wanda felt embarrassed and humiliated but she displayed patience she never complained to anyone about it 
she said that she had 100 dresses to silence her classmates and perhaps she was referring to the sketches that she has made for the drawing competition question 13 why does maddie stand by and do nothing how is she different from peggy was peggy's friendship important to maddie yes maddie feared that she would become the next target if she would stop peggy from teasing wanda but she is sensitive and she is deeply hurt the way Peggy teases Wanda. Yes, the friendship of Peggy is very important to her as she feels secured in her company. Question number 14. What does Miss Mason think of Wanda's drawing? What do the children think of them? How do you know? Miss Mason praised her drawings. She said that she was proud of her. Even the children, especially the boys, were awestruck at the sight of the beautiful drawings. They started whistling. Peggy thought herself to be the best artist, but here she also praised Wanda's drawings. Here are very short question answers or MCQs to be answered in one word or few words. First, Name the two best friends. They are Peggy and Maddie. Next, Wanda is a dash girl. You have to fill in the blank. She is Polish girl. Next, which room did their class sit in? They sat in room number 13. Next, who was the most popular girl in school? Peggy. Next, where did Peggy and Maddie wait for Wanda? They waited for her at the corner of Oliver Street. Next, why was Peggy's game bothering Maddie? She is sensitive. Maddie is sensitive. She feared she would become the next target. Next, how many shoes did Wanda say she had? She said she had 60 pairs of shoes. Next, where did Wanda live? She lived at Boggin Heights. Next, why did Maddie not write to Peggy in first place? Now, there are three choices I have given you. You can pick and choose. She did not want to displease Peggy. She thought she would become the next target of the girls. She did not want to lose friendship of Peggy. Next, which competition was organized for girls? Designing dresses. Next, which competition was organized for boys? Designing motorboats. Who did Maddie think would win the contest? Peggy. Who won the boys contest? Jack Beggles. Next, what was the name of the teacher? Miss Mason. Which color dress did Peggy and Maddie like? Peggy liked green dress and Maddie liked blue dress. Here are short question answers to be answered in 30-40 words and here are value points. Question 1. Who was Peggy? What made her popular? Peggy was a beautiful girl who had curly hair and she was very rich. She came from a rich family. She had pretty dresses and she was good at drawing. She loved animals. She protected small children from the rough boys that made her popular in school. Next, in what ways Wanda is different from other children? Wanda is an immigrant from Poland. She is shy by nature and rarely laughs in the class. But she is very talented, creative. She has lots of patience. She doesn't get irritated when the children tease her. But she wore one dress every day to school. This made her different from others. Question 3. Describe Wanda's reaction to Peggy and Maddie's teasing. Wanda doesn't get angry at all. She remains calm. She replies very softly. She doesn't have any American friend. So she is very lonely. She has got dull eyes and she sometimes hitches her shoulders when they tease her. Question 4. Why did Maddie write a note to Peggy and then tore it? Maddie is upset the way Peggy made fun of Wanda. She 
is not able to express herself she is not able to talk to her face to face so she writes a note but then she tears the note also because she did not have the guts to give that note also to her she felt that the note would annoy peggy and she would become next target of the girls they are going to make mockery of her and she also feared that she might lose friendship of peggy question 5 what tempted peggy to ask wanda about number of dresses in her closet now wanda wore the same pale dress every day to school which did not fit her well also she had a strange name she had no american friends so peggy took the liberty of making fun of her next question 6 why did wanda tell a lie about dresses and shoes wanda did not have any explanation of wearing the same pale blue dress to school every day so to silence them she said she had 100 dresses in beautiful designs in velvet and silk in her wardrobe and she had 60 shoes question 7 why did peggy and maddy stop short and gasped the minute they entered the classroom why when peggy and maddy entered the classroom they were mesmerized to see colorful lavish sketches displayed all over the room on the ledge on the window sill next question 8 how did the boys react to wanda's drawing the boys were awestruck they applauded they stamped their feet on the floor they whistled and they clapped they took a round of the room to admire the dresses question 9 what is the significance of the title the 100 dresses the story revolves around wanda who wears pale dresses and she is teased for that but she doesn't get irritated at all she tells the classmates that she had 100 colorful dresses and in the end she wins a medal for beautiful designs she makes to participate in the competition so she won the contest in the end and that made her happy and so the title is act here are long question answers to be answered in 120 to 150 words and i am going to give you only value points first question comment on maddie's role in the story the 100 dresses now maddie plays a very crucial role in making life difficult for wanda as a mute spectator because she sympathizes with wanda but she doesn't have the guts to stand up and speak so she doesn't defend her openly she fears that she would become next target of the girls in her class then she thinks of writing a note and expressing her desire to peggy but that too she doesn't have guts to give note to peggy because she feels that peggy would become annoyed and she would stop talking to her so if a person doesn't raise voice against exploitation he is thought to be an equal partner in crime so mary is selfish and she thinks only of her friendship rather than expressing her sympathy for wanda question 2 the 100 dresses part 1 is about teasing wanda it also points towards ragging and racism indirectly elucidate this is very important question now this story is really about teasing a polish girl for having a strange name so her classmates made her feel inferior especially peggy who asked her about her dresses so wanda became self withdrawn and she had no friends to share her feelings with they never thought how humiliated she felt when they asked her about the dresses but her selection as a winner of the contest proves that color 
prejudice and racism are not the parameters of talent. So, behavior towards Wanda is completely undesirable and it is condemnable issue in the society and should not be accepted by anyone. So children, I am sure that important points and very short question answers that is MCQs have helped you understand the chapter nicely and the value points discussed in short and long question answers will help you write the answers to the points. In my next video of the same chapter, the 100 dresses part 2, I am going to explain you the second part of this story. So children, if you have enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe it. Do post your comments in the comments box below and keep watching Mentors English Express. Thank you.